Tetsuno Kingo designed the building behind me in 1907. Now this famous Japanese architect not only built Tokyo Station, but also Seoul Station just down the street. The original purpose of the building was to function as the Bank of Chosen during the Japanese occupation of the country. However, today it stands as the Bank of Korea's museum and where we're headed to today. While the building is made from poured concrete, the outer shell is comprised of granite harvested from nearby Dongdaemun Gate. The building itself was modeled after an eclectic collection of architectural styles including French Renaissance and Tuscan themes, giving it a classic look in a very modern city. Inside you'll find a very modern facility with a lot to offer visitors. However, for me, I found just a few to be very interesting. The first exhibits cover the history of the Bank of Korea, including displays of the first zinc plates used to print money and information on techniques to thwart counterfeiting. Now, I think this is pretty cool. So in the second floor gallery of currency, you have these wall units here. And if you want to examine the currency of a particular country, all you have to do is pull out the drawer and there it is. Check it out. This is Thailand. If you've ever wanted to make your own money, you'll get the chance to do it here. Just smile for the camera and out comes your personalized bill. However, for me, the most interesting exhibit was on the main floor. Here, one can explore the history of currency dating back to bartering times, the first uses of metal tokens, and even commemorative bills and coins from around the globe. A fascinating display chronicles the changes to Korean money from the Daehan Empire through the Japanese occupation until now. I was amazed to learn that Hangul wasn't even used on bills until the 1960s. The Bank of Korea is open Tuesday through Sunday from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. And if you love money or enjoy learning about the history of currency, not only of that of Korea, but of around the world, this is a stop worth making because the museum is absolutely free. But what I would like to know, as you have traveled, what has been the most special piece of currency you've collected over the years? Be sure to leave a comment down below. If you've enjoyed the video, I hope you'll give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends, but also make sure that you are subscribed so you won't miss the next video. From Seoul, South Korea, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.